Hi guys, it's Jessica and this should be a very quick video. It's just going to be basically an anti-haul. Basically things that I'm not interested in buying, especially for this holiday season, which is upon us in the cosmetics world. Um, other people aren't really thinking about it, but we are getting just hammered with images of palettes that are coming along, unreleased things, things to look forward to. I think Marc Jacobs has been showing stuff off since like April of what his, um, his, uh, what's coming for his holiday collection. Like some of his stuff might already be on sale. It's August 30th or 31st, something like that. What is today's date? Anyway, no, it's August 30th. No, today's Thursday. It's August 31st, so like it's just there are lots of things to wade through, decide on what you're getting. There are a couple of things that I know for sure that I really want to get my hands on, but that's not what this video is about. Um, perhaps that'll be another video. But for this video, this anti haul, I am basically going to start with Huda Beauty and the Death of Dust palette. Um, at first, I was really excited for this palette. And then today, I saw actual live swatches on Tentalia.com. And I no longer wanted it. The There is a shade that I was super excited for, which was there. She was like, oh, there's a press glitter in it. And I was like, cool. That'll be beautiful. Press glitters are amazing. Um, one of my favorite, I have the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. My favorite shade in that palette, I think it's called 24-7, which is her press, which is the press glitter um, shade. I love that shadow. I use it all the time. Like whenever I, basically whenever I use that palette, I pretty much reach for 24-7. It's a great shade. Morphe actually knocked that shade out of the park. Um, but moving on. Um... But yeah, no, that pressed glitter shade does not look good. The other shades, it all looks very similar to the Queen of Hearts palette by Colored Rain. And I'm just, I have that palette, so why do I need another one that's just like it? The shade that I want that is in that palette that I don't believe I own is called Twilight. But um, that's what dupes are for. So you don't have to pay $65 for the entire palette when you can just pay... 10 6 to 15 bucks or however much the dupe is to get that one shade that you need so moving on to Too Faced I have two collections from them the first being the Candy Johnson palette I think it's called I Want Candy everything in that collection looks boring and it looks like something that I already have um or like it's not going to work for my complexion for my skin tone not complexion for my skin tone like mm. kudos to candy like i've been following her for a very long time and i was set to pick something up when i heard that she and Too Faced were collabing even though Too Faced is not my favorite brand i own one item from Too Faced and that is their um matte bronzer and dark chocolate um, and I thought about picking up the liner, the eyeliner, but then I heard that it's scented with, that it's black licorice scented. Ew. Why? Who wants that? Who even likes black licorice besides my grandpa? That is the only person that I know in real life who likes black licorice. If you like black licorice, comment below and let me know so I can know more people who like black licorice but again like Too Faced must be stopped with these scents like it was cute at first but now it's too much it's too much they've taken it to the extreme just like Lay's must be stopped with these all different type of weird flavors everything bagel flavor like chips and things like that both companies must be stopped it was cute at first but it's not anymore. It's annoying now. And moving on to the second collection from Too Faced that I do not want. That I do not plan on picking anything up for. And that is the Peaches and Cream pal um, the palette but that collection. Um, don't get me wrong. The Peaches and Cream palette actually looks pretty nice. But I know I own shades similar to that. So what's the point? 
as well as the one thing that I really was like interested in getting was the shimmer bronzer that they have and it it's a one size fits all how to face how is something that will be deep enough to bronze say someone of Viola Davis complexion that'll be too that'll be too dark for me and then someone say of like Kristen Stewart skin tone she's fair that'll be too light for me like how like you the reason why there are different shades of bronzer because there are different shades of people to face like that's not how this works it's not how any of this works and then moving on to something that I'm really actually sad about but then again I saw like the actual like look of the lipsticks and it became an instant no for me and that is the MAC and Nicki Minaj collaboration. Like, I was really actually excited for those lipsticks. The first image that I saw of them, they looked like this, these beautiful, like, chocolate, like, lipstick colors. And then when you actually saw them in life, they're pink. There are two different shades of pink. Two different, two light shades of pink. I would definitely need a liner for them. And as someone who enjoys Nicki Minaj not just for her music but for her personality and the way in like the um, things that she does with fashion how she takes risks like why Nicki why couldn't one of them be pink and then one of them be brown why did they both have to be pink they didn't but I'm sure they will sell out because the barbs go strong I myself am a part of the Bajancy the beehive I also consider myself to be a part of the Navy which is Rihanna she's not a part of this um but like like if the three oh, if Beyonce in it because all we need is Beyonce now to release makeup and then we'd be set the music trifecta for black girls oh and SZA But, so Rihanna's not a part of this whatsoever. I'm getting stuff from her. So, consumerism, whatever. It's Rih Rihanna, and she said, a hey, Navy, gear up. So, I'm gearing up. But, so, that was Mac and Nicki Minaj. The next one is the Natasha Denona Lila palette. I saw that palette, and I was like, no. Because I knew, again, it was $129, but Natasha wasn't going to get me this time. I fell into the hype of Natasha Denona. I purchased the Sunset Palette for the $140 because tax happens here where I live. Like, tax ex ex taxes, they exist. So, that $129 with taxes is more like $140. I did a couple looks with it, and then I took it back because the $140 that I spent that palette is worth maybe four, that palette is worth maybe forty bucks, forty to fifty dollars. That is what that palette is worth. And the reason why I say that is because the mattes you they're not pig they're I mean they they have pigment to them, but they're not as pigmented as they as they should be for one hundred twenty nine dollars. They so you need to build them up a lot, and then they kind of disappear on you after a couple of hours as well as they get these little weird hard balls in the pan it's not hard pan it's not hard pan it's just these little weird balls and i'm not and at first i thought i was crazy and then i watched jay kiss's video on um the color pop um yes please palette versus the natasha Nona, the Nona sunset palette and she said she had the same like and i was like oh and she had the same i was like okay i'm not crazy then these little balls are like just they're appearing like it's not me and then the shimmers are very beautiful that's what made it hard to return the palettes because those shimmers are freaking gorgeous like she picked some very beautiful and unique colors but it's just not worth it for me and there was nothing in that palette that was like oh I've got to have that color so it's a no for me $129 set aside for what the Sunset Palette did, it what it's the it lets me know that the Lila Palette is not worth it either. Just because I know that she hasn't changed her, I know that she hasn't changed her um, 
the ingredients list at all. Like she hasn't changed her formula. It's all still the same. So it's a no for me. And then Kim Kardashian West has a makeup line. I am not interested in it. Everything that I've seen from it has been like either subpar or just okay. Um, as well as anything from her sister Kylie Jenner. I'm just not interested in the Kardashians and the Jenners as a whole. I don't hate them. That would take much too much effort on my part. I don't have time for that. But I'm not interested in making them more money. Especially when a lot of what they do is steal from other people and other cultures. So that's a no for me. Because um, it's just a no for me. And then so... And then Kim, you're too late. You were too late with this contour. Like, you should have done that five, six, seven years ago. Like, when people were, like, all about getting the Kim Kardashian look, that's when you should have been releasing a contour highlight palette. That's when you should have been doing it. The same thing goes for Kat Von D. Like, I, I have two of Kat Von D's um, liners. I like them. But they're a little bit late. Like, and I love the I love the Kat Von D brand. But it's just a little bit late. Like, I feel like she should have came out with those liners like three, four years ago. That's just my opinion. And I'm sure the thing about with Kat is that she just wants to make sure that things are perfect. So, I get that. And then, the next thing is Jouer and that lips or a lip topper that they have with Jeffree Star. I'm not gonna go into anything about Jeffree Star. By now, you already know what was said. Um, I will say that I did watch the apology from start to finish. And while I did feel for him to have to go through, you know, you know what it is to be a gay man in America, he, I feel like he should have felt what it's like to be a black woman in America. So I'm just not interested and money is a powerful thing so I choose to put my money to people who I feel support people like me what I'm saying is that it, wanting to profit off of black people is not the same as embracing and loving black people you know what moving on so that's also so i'm putting like jouet as a brand on hold like from purchasing from them which is really sad because i have their um their skinny dip palette i like it a lot um i'm also putting benefit on hold and benefit is not just because of jeffree star but that because they thought that they were going to release these minis with the faces of different youtube gurus youtube and beauty gurus and sell it for to sell it to people like it was a collab that's not a collab you just slap their faces on boxes like no thank you no thank you and i love me some some nicole guerrero get your money girl in fact all of y'all get y'all's money but then i said don't don't try and play me don't try and play me like we're not stupid like that wasn't that collab no you just slap their face on a product that they say that they like um but that will be the end of this anti-haul um there i will try and do a video on um things that i'm interested in buying um one of them i'm sure uh you saw was the rihanna collection can't wait for that um so So thanks for watching guys, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, if you have a disagreement with me about any of this, I know the Jeffree Star topic is very a hot button issue because racism is a hot button issue. But um, if you are gonna copy, comment, keep it classy, keep it cute, keep it respectful. Um, all right, thanks for watching guys, bye.